Hi guys and welcome to chapter 12, Adaptation and Species. Fast lizards, slow corals. The rapid evolution of lizards and the slow growth of corals offer clues about how species are born. Hmm. Caribbean corals. Carlos Prada did not spend much of his time at the University of Puerto Rico in a classroom. Instead, he spent it in the ocean, studying corals, a type of marine invertebrate. On regular dives onto the Caribbean reef, the graduate student documented the morphology, or the physical shapes and sizes, of a species of coral named, I can't pronounce it, commonly called sea fans. At 12 different locations along the Puerto Rican coast, Prada observed different morphologies of the coral at different depths. In shallow areas, less than 15 feet from the surface, the sea fans were wide, with a broad network of thick branches like a bush. In deeper areas, between 15 and 55 feet from the surface, the sea fans were much taller and spindly, resembling trees with networks of thin branches. They're supposed to be the same species, but they really look different at different depths, says Prada curious, as we all are, about whether the morphologies were due to genetics or just a result of surrounding environment, shaping the animals as they grew, Prada began carefully transplanting the corals, moving deep water sea fans to shallow depths and vice versa. What did he find? Well, guess what? Yes, you got it. You guys need to read to find out. Please read the book. You will learn about adaptations and speciation in a fun story. Two fun stories, actually. The beginning of the chapter talks about lizards. What's better than a lizard? Come on, people. Work with me. Read the chapter. You'll be glad you did.